Hello, this is Travis Saban with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to walk you through our new AJO reporting experience. So in AJO, we've enhanced the reporting experience to include some new capabilities and unlock some new potential. Now, this feature is an opt-in only experience for the moment. So by default, you'll still see the standard AJO experience. But if you want to try out the new experience, you come into the top in the header here and you hit this toggle to try the new reporting experience within AJO. Once you do that, the page reloads with a new reporting experience that has a whole new host of capabilities and rich data for you to analyze and explore. So this reporting is available for campaigns, journeys, landing pages, reports, and subscription lists within AJO. So in this case, I'm in the reports, and previously in reports, you could only view your cross-channel reports and look at how they're performing against whether email, push, web, and so on. But now we've added some new sections. We have this new highlight section here at the top where we have some of these key metric summaries here for some of your most important metrics and events that are taking place along your different journeys and campaigns. And then we also have this cross-journey view that has been previously unable to do within AGO. Previously, you could only look at any individual journey at a time, but now we have this table with all of your journeys listed with some high-level metrics that you can quickly compare to see which ones are overperforming or underperforming. One of the great things we've added is if I want to look at Paul's chill events, I can click on this hyperlink and it will immediately open a new tab, taking me directly to that individual journeys report. And so now I can quickly, without having to click back and out of my workflow, immediately look and drill into that specific journey itself. So that's a really, really great feature that we've added here. We've also added the same for campaigns. So now I have a campaigns overview report. And previously in AJO, what you see is kind of what you get. There was no real slicing and dicing or manipulation of the data. But with the new reporting experience, we have these things called drop-down filters at the top where I can specify what channel I want to see. So right now I have all my channels being displayed. But if I only wanted to view web, I could select that. And it will immediately filter my data in my table now to only show me campaigns that have web data. But if I wanted to see web and push, for example, I could select both of those. And now I've got all my web and my push campaigns together in a single table. So I can use this to kind of manipulate my data and the view that I'm taking a look at here. This table of contents here is what you can use to navigate around the page as you've seen. I can click back up to the top to look at my journey failures and it will highlight exactly where I'm going or I can look at my overview channels report and I'll navigate down there as well. So that's the new overview report that we've added that highlights the new journeys and campaigns view that you didn't have previously. So now a lot of these will look the same. So if I dig into this specific journey report, these will look very similar to what you may have had before. A lot of the values and metrics are similar, but we've just added a few new ways to visualize and represent the data in a more aggregate, flexible way. So each of these comes with some pre-built dropdowns like you were seeing that you can use to manipulate what's being displayed. You can change and adjust the date range if you want to. And there's a few other things that you can tweak. In the journey reports, we've added a new journey canvas visualization in place of the kind of rainbow Sankey diagram that existed before. So here I can drill in and see exactly how my journey is performing from my starting point to my condition, how it branches out and how people are progressing across this journey that I've created. I can use the zoom and navigation functions to kind of see how this is performing and people are progressing and falling through on the journey itself. And then there's some of these label changes here that I can make. So if I want all my labels, that's fine. If I want to remove my conditions, I can do that. If I don't want any kind of arrow settings displayed, I can remove all those as well. And I can change some of the percentage values and things like that. There's a brand new visualization that we built just for this and really, really enhance your reporting on journeys within AJO. So these are all great new features and there are similar reports likewise in campaigns, landing pages, and like I said, subscription lists. So go and take a look at them. And then you can still download your CSV and PDF files to take a look at those. And then we have this new Analyze and CJA button at the top. So these changes are for all AJO customers. And however, if you're a CJA customer, we've built a tighter integration between the two products. So if you wanted to, you can take a look at this same data directly in the CJA without having to recreate it yourself. If you're not a CJA customer, you still see this little option here just so you know that it's available, but you won't be able to click it. But if I'm a CJA customer, I can click on that 
And immediately within seconds, I've got the exact same report fully recreated within CJA without me having to spend hours of time duplicating the exact same reports here. And now when CJA can come in, I can do all my CJ goodness of dragging and dropping on other specific things. I can do breakdowns. I can do metrics. I can change and manipulate this report. I can add visualizations. I can customize it to my heart's desire in CJ and do a lot of the data exploration and ad hoc query analysis that CJ is so qualified for. But even without CJ, these are great features and great capabilities. If at any time you don't want to use this experience anymore, you can turn the toggle off and it will ask you for your feedback on the experience and what you like, didn't like, and things like that. And then it'll take you back to the previous reporting experience. Once you've opted in or out, it will remember your state. So as you navigate around the UI, if you've opted in, every time you go to any other kind of report, like I'm in a journey report here, it will open up the new experience. Or if you toggle off and you're in the old experience, it will remember that and keep you in that state. So this is the new reporting experience that we're trying out. We hope you like it. Please send us your feedback and thank you very much.